What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went through, what, Route 4? Route whatever? Yeah, we battled a lot of trainers. And now we're going to be going wherever the wind takes us because, well, you know, it's been a while since I've actually played here. And now we're in the Undela Bay, and well, we're going to be grabbing this, the Draco Plate, which many of you guys already know, the Draco Plate is very, very effective to a specific Pokemon. And what I'm going to be doing right here is uh, I'm just going to be battling everybody, anybody and everybody right here. And this guy has got himself a Mantyke. I foolishly come out with a big booty butt kiss, so let's go straight to Magneto right here. And uh, look at that. That takedown attack doesn't work, so let's go straight for a charge beam attack, and bam! For the win. Okay, so... Shoot, I guess while I'm doing this, I should probably talk a little bit more about... Uh, well, things that have happened over the last 10 months. Because the last time I checked, yeah, it's been 10 months, almost 10 months since I've actually played this game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked by Pokemon because, yes, and look at this. We are finding ourselves a female Frillish. Yes, don't want anything to do with that Pokemon. So, yeah, um, it has been... I don't... Don't quote me on it to this date. Uh, it has been about 10 months since I've actually played Pokemon uh, White 2. Last week, you guys probably already noticed that, yes, uh, we... We came out with five episodes, and those were five episodes that we we actually recorded ten months ago. I guess back in what October, September, October, one of those two months right there. And well, I, I guess you could say that like you know, my mind works. <laughs> my 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 mind, just like everybody else's mind, it works in different ways. It uh, it whatever it feels. Whenever it feels like playing something new, it wants to, and it, as many of you guys already know, I'm very impatient, I'm very, very, very uh, quick to the trigger and all that stuff. And I guess you could say that when uh, we made the switch, when we stopped playing this game, it was more of like, okay, I want to, now, like, okay, so now I'm actually, now I actually want to play Pokemon, what, Crystal, Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff because, well... Yeah, I kind of, I, I just had the feeling to do it, and especially since, you know, it's it's a game that I'm very, very familiar with. This right here, a lot of the stuff that we're doing is pretty new. Last time I actually played this thing in its, in, in its entirety was about, like, five years ago. And, yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for me to remember a lot of these things. That's why, you know, I had to go watch walkthroughs, some people's walkthroughs and all that stuff. And, wow, we're getting attacked by so many Pokemon. Mainly because our Pokemon are weak right now. Holy crud. And as you guys can see, there are dark spots in this whole area. Finding ourselves a male Frillish. And, you know what? Everybody's gonna get the... Everybody's gonna catch these magnets right now. Yes, these magnets. And, well... I think there is an area right here. And, well... We're going to be battling this chick. Okay, so here we're taking on Erisa, and she's going to be with Aloma Momo Mola. Can't even pronounce that name right, but guess what? I don't care. And here we go, Charge Beam for the win, and it doesn't win us a game right here. So, again, another Charge Beam, and wow, our special attack grows at the most, wow, at the most uh, ridiculous time right there. So, Lexi, so what cave is this? Hmm, oh... So, here we are in the seaside cave, there's this individual, he's like, Hmm! If you want to pass here, you have to defeat me! And my rock and roller. And we're just as sturdy as a rock. But my rock and roller and I only battle strong trainers. That is my and my rock and roller's policy. It's a sturdy as a, it's sturdy as a rock. So, it looks like to me, we won't be able to battle these guys just yet. I'm only assuming that, you know, the Pokemon uh, League is what we need to do in order to battle this guy. So, we're going to be flying our way back. All the way to Mandela Town, I guess. Reversal, Latmus Town. Wow, we, we went through... Yeah, we went through some spots right here. So, let's go right ahead and fly our way. And I'm going to heal my Pokemon real quick, guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And it, go, it looks like to me... Great! We're getting weighed up! <laughs> we're getting stopped by this guy. He's like, let's see how well we've raised our Pokemon. Okay, so for the first time in like about 10 months, we're taking on our rival slash friend, Hugh, and this guy right here, he's ready for it, and he's got himself three Pokemon, coming out with an own pheasant, and, well, I'm going to be coming out with 
our good old buddy Magneto, and Detect is always the bane of my existence. And here we go, Charge Beam Attack. Damn it, no boost, and, well, let's see. Another Charge Beam for the win. And there it is, his special attack has grown. You gotta, you got, you really gotta love the whole, the whole, whatchamacallit, uh... God dang it, I hate Detect. I hate Detect like a, with the passion. So here we go, Charge Beam for the win, and yes, we get ourselves into the boost. And he's gonna be coming out with a Simi Seer. So, let's go right ahead and go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. And, well, Simi Seer, you're looking pretty cool. But I got I got myself a Surf Attack, and just like that, Simi Seer has been defeated. Superior is gonna be coming out, so Big Booty Buckus coming out, showing off that big booty. And we're gonna be going straight for a Flamethrower Attack. And, yeah, we gotta hit this Pokemon before its coil hits us, and, well, that hits us pretty good. And, just like that, we defeated Superior, and here's, he's learning Heat Wave, holy crud, okay! So, let's see, Heat Wave. The user attacks by exhaling hot breath, and on its opposing team, it may also leave targets burned. Okay, I am going to take away a reversal, because it hasn't done any, it hasn't done anything good for me. So, yes, we have defeated Hugh. Great. If we're if we're this strong, Team Plasma will be scream uh, will run screaming uh, when they see us. I won't let them get away though. Her purloin. I'll get it back for sure. So Draven, keep helping me out. Also, continue to work hard on the Pokédex. You're the one who's officially asked to complete it or to complete it. After all. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do have another mission too. So. Anywho, uh, I gotta do something real quick, guys. Gotta check on something real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, guys. I was just checking up on uh, our good old buddy, Big Booty Buckus, and uh, I, I realized that I wanted to complete the whole, uh, what was it called, uh, his whole move set by the time it was at level 45, because it gets two good moves by the time it's at level 45. So, we got quite a few more levels to go, which is good, it's great, it's fantastic. Now, the person right here is going to be telling us, the longest road in Unova, I heard it's Route 13. Huh, it is. I love to clear my uh, my path of uh, having a uh, Pokemon use uh, hidden moves. Okay, pretty cool, awesome. Alrighty, so here we are moving into Route 13, and if I remember correctly, this is the longest path to uh, well, not to power. And uh, well, let's see, we gotta get Shatter to to like actually start battling and stuff. So let's go right ahead and battle. And here we are taking on Wesley and. I do believe my Pokemon is weak against fighting type Pokemon, its own kind, so... Jeebus Cramony. Okay, so let's go with a uh, Giga Lift right here, and... Well, let's see, Dynamic Punch hits us, and... Yes, we are recovered because of our, you know, our leftover. So here goes a Side Beam Attack for the win, and Giga Lift grows to level 42. And that right there is how you switch battle. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Okay, so, let's see... We're walking out, and uh, yeah, if I remember, yeah, like I said, if I remember correctly, this is the place where it's very, very long, and it's usually a place where you'd actually go, holy crud baskets, yeah, huh, that's crafty, yeah, not going to happen, so let's go with Desert Storm, now the, 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 the goal right here is to evolve all three of these Pokemon, and good gravy, Jesus Christ, you know what, I'm thinking of just like, this is ridiculous, how in the heck, Oh my god, and here comes a high jump kick. Let's go with a bug type attack. And there goes another high jump kick, and two of my Pokemon are dead. Okay, time to take advantage of this. Yeah, okay, high jump kick. And he got her, yes! And, well, there we go. Anywho, I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> okay, so check this out, guys. Off screen, I was doing a little something because I realized a little the other something. While that was, uh, while we were figuring out that little something something, we did this. Shatter is now evolving, which is great because, well, shoot, we need, we desperately needed an evolution. So here it is, guys, an evolution. Ten months in making, Shadar is finally evolving. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Look at that. Shadar has evolved into Scrafty. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back after a long, long, and I mean long, search. Yeah. So, anywho, guys, uh, 
why that little special thing that little something something uh that little thing was a little switch because I got sick and tired of it so while we were searching for a, a, a certain Pokemon Shedder finally evolved into you know its final form Scrafty now the little something special that we were doing is we changed Desert Storm because this was getting ridiculous okay um, Yes, I know, Vibrabra's defenses are naturally weak, but the Vibrabra that I had for quite some time had the gentle nature, which only means that its defense was just going to get worse and worse every single time we played it. So, we made a switch, we captured another Vibrava right here, ground and, ground and dragon type Pokemon, and you know, you can actually capture these Pokemon at the Twisted Mountain. And its nature right here is way different than the other one. It's a serious nature, meaning nothing gets affected, okay? Once it evolves, it's bam, it's good, it's great. It has the same attack or the same uh, ability. The only thing different is that I did... I don't think I have dig attack, so yeah. Bulldoze is a, its newest move right here. So now, we could finally move on and continue to kick some butt and take some names. Yeah. That was quite a quite a quite an adventure right there. We are like currently at minute 40. I mean, I show it right here in our um, in our in our like uh, in our actual video right here. But yes, we are at minute 40 now. I did quite a few things that actually you know that we actually did. Like I actually found a shadow ball right behind the haunted house and all that stuff. And well, look at that. We're gonna be taking on Dale Caddy. Okay, slash tag. God, I hate Pokemon to do that. Okay, so here we go. And it's a track attack. Good gravy. I hate these Pokemon. Surf attack. And it looks like this Pokemon's faster than us. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am getting sick and tired of your BS. And here comes a double slap. Not so effective right here. And it hits us five times, obviously. And good gravy. Come on. Wake the fuck up. And, of course, our Pokemon is... God damn it, I really hate... I really hate Delcaddy. God damn it. Yes, and I did use another Ultra Ball just to capture a Pokemon, and... Oh, here we go. Let's go with this. Wake up. Double slaps. We're probably gonna get hit five times. No, it's, uh... Here we go, die, jump, kick, and... There we go. Go to hell, Delcaddy. Here goes a Moxie, and Electric is coming out. And, as many of you guys already know, Electric is a Pokemon that has Levitate, so it's basically immune to goddamn fucking, or... Yeah, it's, a uh, it's, uh, it's invincible towards ground-type Pokemon, and, well, now let's go ahead and use our newest Pokemon right here, Desert Storm. And, yes, we got some more Pokemon. Good God. I gotta check up on something, because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, so, a Naughty Nature, and it's special defense. It's at a 92. Wow. I get hit with the worst kind of, uh, the, the, the worst, uh, what was it called? Nature's ever. I swear to God. And it, it's funny because, like, you know, back then I was never really, like, I never really cared about nature's or anything like that, guys. But now, now that I've been, like, what, very, very aware of this, I've been more aware of nature's, it's, it's really irking at me because it's like, you know, some people keep on telling me that, hey, you know, Draven, you gotta, you gotta get yourself a better Pokemon of, of, you know, that sort, because, well, nature is pretty bad and all that. Yeah. So, kind of annoying. And here we found ourselves another Ultra Ball, and it looks like to me this is a very, very long area. And here we have a Vaporeon, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Magneto. And, well, here comes an Uncle Ring, which many of you guys already know. It's gonna heal up her. It's gonna heal up. And, yes, we finally got an increase on our. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got an increase on our stats right there. This one's gonna hit harder. And, let's go ahead one more time. Charge Beam for the win. And there goes Vaporeon. Oh, my God. I really. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, we're speeding it up right here because good gravy. All right, let's see what happens right here. We're gonna be finding some Pokemon that are gonna be, you know, at a good level, like Pelipper. And yes, we don't want to mess with that Pokemon right now. And you do need a Pokemon with strength for this this particular part. So let's go ahead and use that. And there we go. And we are gonna be finding ourselves an item, which is a Red Shard. 
It's always nice to have red charge and stuff. And, well, here we have a Lunatone. Pretty interesting Pokemon to find around here. And another Lunatone. That same Lunatone. Oh, it's not the same Lunatone that wants to follow us and shoot. So, let's go straight back down and speeding it through. And, yes, we're going to be battling some more trainers right here. Here comes a Lady Laura. She's coming out with a cast form. As many of you guys already know, cast form does have its, uh, you know, its different changes. Its uh, changes of the day. And this guy is straight into a fire type. And here comes a blizzard attack. Not so effective. So let's go with a surf. And just like that. Desert Storm finally grows to level 39, and it's learning a new move, Earth Power, which the user makes the, the ground under the target erupt though with power. It may also lower its special defense. So let's go with that. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. And this guy probably wants to battle us. He's seen us quite a few times. All right, let's see. Uh, what am I doing here? I am hunting for treasure. Treasure hunting is... Fun. Sometimes things are buried in the sand dunes. Actually, I just found something, but it's the same one I found before, so I'll give it this to you. And here we get ourselves a white flu. It's always nice to actually, you know, have somebody share us, uh, share with us some food, some stuff. And this guy's like, I'm really annoyed. Uh, what? Uh, I'm really annoyed by what Team Plasma said in the past. So I live with Pokemon without putting them in Pokeballs. But Pampor doesn't listen to me at all. Probably because it's not your Pokemon, and uh, the creation of Pokeballs made it possible so er for everyone uh, to be with Pokemon. Yes, everyone. Hmm. So, yes, we're having that debate yet again, and well, we're going to be going straight right here, and let's go ahead and use some Surf Attack, and well, I don't, I think we can actually find an item right here somewhere. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Get attacked by more Pokemon close to our level, and get the heck away. And, well, the next area that we have to actually go to is right here, and we got a few fishermen. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Magneto, as always, you know, getting beaten up and all that stuff. No, I do not want to save the game. But I do want to heal Magneto, because, yes, that's actually the smart thing to do. So, let's go ahead and start battling, and, well, we got a fisherman, Damon, wanting to battle us right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, go with the Charge Beam attack. Not so effective, just because, yes, we are a Steel-type Pokemon. And here comes the Aqua Tail. And there we go, another special attack boost. And, well, Staryu is going to get the whole treatment right here, because here comes another... Here comes another Charge Beam attack, and there we go. So now we're basically indestructible right now. <laughs> Okay, let's go straight to the next guy right here. And he's got himself a hundred Pokeballs and all that crud. So, let's go take it on Aloma Mola. Aloma Mola. Aloma Mola. -ma -ma I keep on saying it, messing up its name because, you know, that's just me. And, well, let's go straight for another Charge Beam attack. And there we go. Another boost. Another win. Level 39. And here we are learning Flash Cannon. This move right here is very powerful. The user gathers all the light and energy and releases it all at once. It may lower its special defense attack or the target. So let's go right ahead and take away this because we really don't need it. So there we go. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Things are finally getting, like things are finally uh, going our way, I guess. And right here, we do need to cut it. Oh, are you serious? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so there is Kabalian. I think that's what its name is. And, well, we're going to be battling this guy right here. Now, if you guys remember this particular area, it leads us straight towards uh, the next town where Hiram is going to be at. And, well, looks like to me we are at a disadvantage right here. Let's go with this. And flamethrower to that. Okay, so here we go. Psybeam does it to Brava. Here comes Volt Switch. Doesn't really do much, but we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. And here comes a Flamethrower attack. And that actually does some damage, some pretty good damage right there. So we're going to take that attack. We're going to get a String Shot and a Scary Face. So somebody's speed is all the way down. And we're going to hit everything we can. And let's go with a Fly Attack. Two Larvesta and a 
takedown attack to Flareon. So there goes a Surf attack, hits everybody in its path, and that's about almost three Pokemon getting hit right there. And Sire of the Torrent grows to level 43. Desert Storm finally grows to level 40. And here comes, oh wow, did we hit? Okay, there we go. And just like that, we win again. Alrighty. The great display of teamwork impressed me, so then, yeah, she's going to be giving us a citrus berry, which is great. And grabbing this, here we found a blue shard. That, the other one might be a Pokemon. I, I wouldn't doubt it, so let's go right ahead and do this. We got a max ether, and here we have Absol. Oh my god, okay. I, I, I do want to capture it, but I, I am sticking with the Pokemon I have, and, well, look at this. Oh, wow. So... Does it look like we're gonna, we have to capture it? Okay, we're going to have to save this game just to see what ends up happening. Because this Pokemon already notices us. Okay, so we save the game. And... Well, it looks like we are going up against this Pokemon right here. Okay, so here is a legendary Pokemon, Kabalion. Level 45, this Pokemon is going to be a tough one to go, go up against. So we're going to go with a Thunder Wave attack right here. Remember, Kabalion is a, uh, it is a, what was it called? A Steel type, or it is a Fighting type Pokemon, so got to be aware of that. And yes, Kabalion cannot move, so let's not risk it. Let's get a Volt Switch onto this Pokemon. Oh, almost beats him. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go with somebody that it can't hurt. And here comes a retaliate attack. So, Kabalion is is weakened, and we've gotten ourselves our plenty of Pokeballs right here. So let's go with an Ultra Ball. Come on, damn it. And Kabalion cannot move. I don't know if this Pokemon can heal up. And there we go! <laughs> we caught him! Oh my god! We caught Kabalion. Okay! Finally, something good happens for us. Okay, so here it is, guys. Kabalion, the steel and fighting type Pokemon, the Iron Will Pokemon. It has the body and heart of steel. It worked with its allies to punish people when they hurt Pokemon. And, well, this Pokemon is going straight to the PC. Holy crud. Okay, so something positive. Holy buckets. Something positive actually happened for us. Us! Okay. All right, so let's see. I don't know what to say about this. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm in a loss for words right now because, wow. Again, I've been, like this is like the first time I'm playing this game in quite some time, guys. So, huh. yeah, a lot of these things that they go on is just it's 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 gonna be pretty new to me. So let's see. I wonder if I could serve that way. Hmm. No, you can't. Okay, so I think we have to go right here. And yes, let's use another uh, repel. And well, just when you think you're done, no, you're gonna be battling another trainer. And this person has a rotation battle. So here we go, going up against three interestingly picked Pokemon. So let's go with a Flash Cannon. And wow. Okay, so Flash Cannon. That 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 hits it pretty well. So let's go again with another Flash Cannon. And there's a Signal Beam. So it's not... Okay, so... Okay, so it picked the right Pokemon. Here we go. Flash Cannon for the win. And it has a sturdy attack. And here comes a Sandstorm. So a few of our Pokemon are not going to get hit like this. Okay, so let's see if we can go with a Psybeam attack right here. And there you go. Psybeam for the win. And yes, we're getting buffed by a freaking uh, Sandstorm right here. So let's go with another Sand... Or a signal beam, or not signal beam, but a side beam, and there we go with Galvantula. And well, we got one last Pokemon to go up against. I don't want to go. I don't want to battle this guy. So let's go with a Heat Wave attack. And just like that, we are paralyzed because, yeah, we are the king of paralysis. And here comes a discharge, messes us up. Good gravy. Our Pokemon's defenses suck. They just suck. Okay, here we go. Rock Slide for the new Desert Storm, and just like that, bam, we win. Holy buckets, we need to train our Pokemon. 
Yeah, we, re we really do. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that we can do? Aside from, like, capture... Okay, I know that there's hidden items right here, but... I kind of want to see what this is all about. And... Well, let's see. I'd like to go to the Pokestar Studios. I haven't been there in a while. I'm a fan of uh, Mr. Studio, and I wish to be in a movie. Okay, I do not want to be in a movie myself. I hope the new winner uh, has emerged uh, the PWT. Okay, so that's the Pokemon World Ter Tournament. And the Pokemon used to deliver mail to everybody. I know. I'll give you a power band. This power Pokemon brought me. And here we get ourselves a power band. It doesn't matter to this Pokemon, even if it doesn't battle very well. Okay, so a power band. Sounds familiar. Let's see. Go down. Wow. Go all the way down. And the power band. God dang it. Power Bed is a Pokemon held uh, item that promotes special defense gain leveling up but reduces the speed stat. And yeah, at this very moment I don't need yeah, I don't need to, to lose any kind of speed or anything like that. So yeah, let's GTFO. Yes, let's go with another repel because I really don't want to battle anybody else right here. And uh, again, things have gone our way. We actually captured ourselves a Cabalion. Wow. That is amazing. And here we are guys, a Lac Lacunosa town. And as we reach this place, Professor Juniper is right behind us. He's like, hi, Draven. Uh-oh. Well, hello there. Hey, <laughs> I use fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Thanks for your help at the Reversal Mountain. So Professor Juniper is like, if you if you go straight to past Lakanusa, or you will reach Opalescent City. But before you go, there's something I want you, to, you two to hear. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. Oh wow, so just when we thought the story was done, uh, we actually have to go here with Professor Juniper, and this is the place. And, well, she's gonna keep it a secret for all of us, so let's see. Let's see what, oh wow, it looks like uh, we're gonna get a tour, it's story time, holy crud, okay, it is story time. And before we do anything, let me, let me wait right here, real quick, hold on just a sec. Okay, so you gotta love these phone calls that you get while recording because it's uh, it's quite annoying I'm trying to get stuff done. So anywho, we're inside this old lady's house. It's just gonna be like, you must be the ones who want to hear this old tale about Lacanosa Town. That's right. Please tell us. Behind Lacanosa Town, there is a mighty big hole. Giggity. Have you heard of the giant chasm? Yes, I have. Oh, I've heard about, I've heard that around the giant chasm there has been a brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit, I should say. That's what Sharon told me anyway. And the road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite? When a darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears, a frigid if wind follows. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. That's why everybody's afraid. Hmm, eats people too, huh? The peop uh, the Pokemon eat people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with uh, walls uh, to prevent the, uh, the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go inside or outside after dark. And that's the end of the this whole tale. Hmm. A fantastic or fa a fascinating story. I'll add it to my research rec records. Everyone, we should get we should be going. Okay, alrighty. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it right there. And then, well, Professor Judy's gonna be like, wasn't that an interesting folktale? The Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mention in this story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram, who scorched New Nova with blazing fire long ago. By the way, Draven, do you remember the story of Reshiram? Uh, yeah, no. Oh, Draven, I haven't told you a, a little at the at Lentimus Town. Reshiram is a legendary dragon type Pokemon that, la that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero who seeks the truth. It has a white body and it can send forth ferocious flames. Professor, uh, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon of the old story and the legendary dragon type Pokemon? Hmm, dot dot dot. The meteorite. The meteorite? Reshiram was, uh, was revived from a rock uh, called the Lightstone. 
Let's suppose the meteorite from the story is the stone are one and the same. Take into account the elements from the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower where Retro Man was in, was, uh, was, and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be, be a piece of a puzzle. Let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, it should be really strong, a uh, really strong Pokemon. What kind of a reason would there be for it to come out only at night? Like, if, like, it doesn't like sunlight or something like that. Until we look into it more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. Now, now that I think about it, the name Lacunosa Town or Lacunosa could be derived from a Lacunosis cloud, which are clouds that resemble a, a net or a fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from the from that Pokemon. Sorry, I rambled on a little bit, didn't I? Yes, you did. Draven, could I? Could you ask Draven about this if you get a chance? I'm going to do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. Okay, so is that it? Or no, she's going to be talking some more. Oh, just so you know, Opalescent City's mayor, Draven, wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen them up. Really? Hmm. <laughs> I want to beat him. Anywho, Professor Juniper, wait up! Anywho, guys, it has been a long episode. And this will surely be shortened down by the time I get to the editing and all that stuff. And I am not going to go there because I see what's his face. So in the next episode, guys, we will be going through this whole area and then talking to Hugh. And then from there, hopefully we get to Opalucid uh, City or Opalucid City, whatever you like to call it. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. See you guys.